Today is Saturday, January 15, 2021. Another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. I'm your host, Alex. <clears throat> Are you getting your reps in? Are you getting those repetitions in, those sets? Obviously, you have to take a break every now and then. Recuperate, recover. Let the game marinate. And over time, with practice, you should see marked improvement. And that's true for any work you take on. Any craft you choose to take up. With time, you will see marked improvement. Sometimes it's very, uh, very quick. Sometimes the turnaround is substantial and it comes up quickly. It's instantaneous almost. It might be very short term. The gains, at least, might be very short term in the beginning. But that's because... The learning curve is very different for a variety of activities. A couple of broad strokes in one area might require much finer attention to detail in another. New Year's resolution told myself I would be less distracted. So far, so good. I'm not dead yet. I haven't gone off to chase the woman in the red dress, so to speak. So I'm doing all right. Just 15 days in. 15 days in on a Almost three decade journey. It feels good. Feels good to know that improvement shows up. <laughs> improvement shows up sometimes at the most inopportune times. It can show up in the most inopportune times. But if you're able to present it correctly, it'll come off as experience. It'll come off as wisdom. And again, that comes with practice comes off with a program. That's how it happens. Something that you stick to and don't be pulled from. Don't be fooled that the game is just handed down as if from the ether, the older you grow. Even when I was a child, I used to think that everyone was my peer. I could speak to everyone on a common level of respect. But notice how I prefaced that with when I was a child. So as children, we have to learn pretty quickly that we are children. We lack certain capabilities, certain fundamental perspectives about the way life works. The dynamics that are required to be navigated as a person, as an individual in a perceived position of weakness. And it's only a perceived position of weakness. Why? Because it's 
not actually a position of weakness. And good speakers can highlight it, can hone in on it, and let a young person know that they actually are rich, that they actually are wealthy in time. Like the saying, you have your whole life ahead of you. How they tell young people that. The ones with potential at least, right? right? Or one's making a comeback from fucking up. Like yours truly. But the more you put yourself out there in situations requiring interaction, requiring you to exercise your skills socially, interpersonally, intrapersonally even, with yourself. Confidence grows yeah confidence can be passed down it can be bestowed on someone you could uh hype someone up you can be someone's hype man but extract the hype man take away the hype man what are you left with can that individual that was being hyped up stand on their own is that individual worth anything in the end by themselves? Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's just the appearance of importance. And we know looks can be deceiving. They tell us that when we're young too. I mean, I hope you were told when you were young, looks can be deceiving. Trust hardly anything you hear and maybe half of what you see. Yeah, there's been those situations where I've had to see it to believe it. I couldn't just be told what was good and what was bad because someone else's experience informed their perspective, their prejudice, their bias. If it's informed by their experience and I don't have a way to test it empirically, meaning that it's such a unique experience that I don't have anyone close or don't have the opportunity to uh, get in close, get acquainted, have the access and interview someone else with a similar experience, then I have to go experience it myself. It's only fair. It's only fair. But... As a social researcher by trade, by profession, just personally a social social researcher. I mean, it's a title, sure, but since we're younger, corporate cowboys are social researchers. What you do with that research, what you do with that knowledge that you acquire in your research, that data that you're able to synthesize and make comprehensive in your mind something of utility, something valuable. How you choose to use it and manifest from up outside of your mind into reality, that's value. That's confidence. In yourself.
But, but if your shit is tied up in something else that doesn't produce value, like if your mind is occupied, it's taken up. If your value creating potential is taking up with something superficial, I don't know. Superficial in the sense that it doesn't produce, it doesn't create, it doesn't reproduce, it doesn't recreate. Like if it's just serving to distract, divide, destroy, I mean, there's very little use for individuals like that. They're unique, they still have their use, but very little progressive use for individuals like that. And that's not to say that there can't be a good cop and a bad cop. There can't be a good person and a bad person. It's a scale, it's a balance of sorts. For sure, for sure. That's why good people do bad things. That's why bad people do good things. Perceptions. Image. Social image. They also might happen to be social researchers themselves. And the information, the data that they've accumulated has put them into a position where they believe or whether or not they believe, they act in a way that conveys a message. They act in a way that's useful and valuable to them. Yeah, that's some corporate cowboy shit. That is some corporate cowboy shit. you've been around a minute you probably know what the sound of that is and that's just me getting my repetitions in keeping a steady hand I guess it's my form of meditation and I'm able to clear my mind of distractions or of world happenings, world events. And that's where I get intrapersonal with myself. And I can actually think, explore, imagine, wonder. It's good exercise. It's a good exercise for the mind. It's my version of a mental gym, you could say. Marked improvement pops up sometimes when you least expect it. So much practice goes into making the action perfect that if you do it well enough, if you are consummate, dedicated, committed, persistent, when the time comes to act and you're successful, you will surprise yourself. That's marked improvement. At the time in your life, and I'm, it, it's a high. It really is a high. It's a high that you get when you're successful, when you've, when you've been put in the hot seat and you're still cool as fuck, calm, collected, cold, calculating, cool and calculating. Nah, I mean cold, cold.
cold is a little too extreme, but cool and calculating. That's it. And you walk away from that experience where before you might have perceived it to be a challenge, but you've visualized it in your mind. You've imagined it. You've deliberated on it. You've meditated beforehand. So when the time comes up, and the improvement manifests itself in that moment, it's a thrill. I'm telling you, it's exhilarating. It's borderline intoxicating. It's like a close relative of adrenaline. Yeah, it's a rush for sure. So don't waste time. You want to see marked improvement. You want to track your progress. Work on yourself. That's it. And just be consistent. Work on yourself first. You don't even have to write it down. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be something you log. Keep some kind of record. It's like flipping a switch in your mind and keeping yourself accountable. It's as easy as you pick up habits, you can break them. I mean, granted, there are some physical addictions that some folks struggle with or I mean some folks function with I would say to each their own but sometimes a vice will get you fucked up will get you caught up don't let that put you in a position to get clipped I know from experience. Take that as wisdom. If you haven't visited the page yet, please do on Instagram. As of this date, we're experiencing some technical difficulties in posting so we may be uh, relegated to use other social media platforms but obviously this podcast will live it's just spoken word and the social experiment isn't over it's never over while I'm breathing while I'm still alive I got to give y'all proof of life to know I'm not making it up. You can subscribe. The Patreon is Corporate Cowboys Podcast. If you want to donate directly, anything you donate will go towards business expenses, obviously, and legal fees. There's a paypal.me slash corporate cowboys. There's a cash app. There's a Venmo. The links you can find on the page. Help keep this operation nonprofit. And it's and it's not that it isn't profitable. It's that in my belief, any and all profit should be invested and reinvested. I mean 
on paper. Taking profits out of a business is synonymous to embezzlement, synonymous to theft. <laughs> if you don't reinvest that, you're robbing yourself of opportunity. Then opportunities got to show up knocking in the form of innovation. By a corporate cowboy.